So, uh, we we back from break. So it is a drunk ass fucker. <laughs> so this last topic is actually recommended from uh, someone in the what? crowd. Uh, when can a man identify that he can be submissive to this woman? No. <laughs> what is submissive? In bed. Oh, let's go. No, in general. <laughs> in general. I'm talking about in general. In general. Oh, okay. oh. In other words, sometimes follow her lead. Sometimes. sometimes. Can a man ever do that shit? Is it ever appropriate? Sometimes. It's certain shit that if you allow, I'm gonna be like, you gay. Yeah, I can't say Yeah. You said, oh, you said you gay. No, I said, he said in general. general. Yeah, we're talking about in general. In general. Oh, in general. Yeah. Like, no, relationship wise. No, I thought you said if you were allowed, you gay. I was like, I'm not as hell, but I'm not gay. Clearly, this topic went over a lot of heads. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I ain't say you gotta bow down to I'm just saying. That was confusion. Is it, is it ever appropriate? Well, like, yeah, if you're in a serious relationship, you should be submissive. Well, start transitioning into being submissive. That's, that's, submissive. So that's a topic. So that's, <laughs> so I, that's so, a topic. When is it appropriate to be submissive? For what? You know, men, we are very dominant and we don't like listening to what people say. Is it? Sometimes I don't like. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let me take this one. <laughs> All right, so this look, 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 look. When it comes, when it comes, when I look at the term of being submissive, is when you're at that point where you can put your ego to the side and you can listen to what she has to say. And what I mean by that, what, I, what, what? But, but I'm just saying. But a lot of people don't do it. We, we saying it's understanding or whatever. But a lot of people don't do it. Say if you're not very money savvy, you don't know how to use your money, but you come across a woman who's very intellectual when it comes to dealing with finances. By listening to her, I know how to put my ego to the side instead of acting like I know every goddamn thing and actually listen to what she got to say, and that could put me in a better that's position. That's not submissive, though. That's not submissive. Yeah, that's not submissive. That's not submissive. No, What's the message then? All right, let's go to fucking Webster's real quick and find out the definition of it. Say what? Like, they kind of sound like when you use the music, they kind of sound like he bound down the like, 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 like he, her bitch. That's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. Since we got Wi-Fi, let's go on Google real quick. Yeah, well, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, we already got somebody. Well, no, because, okay, so in a typical, I would say in a typical marriage, according to the Bible, a woman is supposed to be submissive to her man. Right? So why can't a man be submissive to his woman? Because the Bible never. 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 Right? Ready to conform to the authority or the will of others. Never. Meekly obedient or passive. Never! There's multiple things. So passive. Okay. Mine's is with passive. I can go with the passive. Right, Obe obedient, that's a bit much. Hell no. Nice. But, <laughs> but passive. Go take like trash passive. out, bitch. What's wrong with being a passive people? What's wrong with being a passive man? Really when like you passive, a pussy get dry. <laughs> Plain and simple. You can never be submissive to a woman. Never. Never. But I think there's very. I think there's very. In general. In general. In general. In general. Never. You disagree. That's all you got. <laughs> Please explain why. Come on, Molly. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think the relationships are give and take. You can't always be the dominant one all the time, 24-7. You're going to lose later. Yeah, it's a give and take. That's your time. I'll tell you what. As soon as, soon, as, soon as you become submissive, she stops fucking the nigga next door because your ass submissive. That's true. Next door. If you want to be all submissive and shit, no. You a man. Be a man, be dominant. Don't hey, ever be submissive. Hey, shut the fuck up in the kitchen. I agree, but I don't like no weak. Like, I. 
takes about 10 days. <laughs> the whole morning. <laughs> uh, one of them So y'all don't yeah. think, y'all don't think in society now, they value a woman's happiness more in a relationship. Sadly, they do. Yeah, they so y'all agree. Right. So y'all agree with what I'm saying. There's so many women but that put their whole lives into a mm-hmm. man just for them to not, you know, a man just for them to not care. I feel like that's very mm-hmm. unlikely that a woman's happiness is coming before a man. I mean, but you also got to think about the women who got daddy issues, so they try to feel the boy by trying to change from like that shit. God damn. I don't know about that one. Mm-hmm. Look, 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 so from, from a male perspective, like, no, what, what, is, what is what is our goal? For all of us. No, nigga, I'm about to. I'm about to. At the end of the day, the thing is, is that, that I, wasn't yeah. saying, I didn't even say what yeah, I was saying. So you gotta think some shit. At the end of the day, as a man, we all know we put on earth to please the woman, right? No, all right, I'm not finished yet. Keep going. I'm not finished yet. So we we put on earth to please the woman, right? It goes way, way, way back. Our goal in life is to make sure she's happy, right? We do everything we need to do to set ourselves up and, and, and in terms of make sure we're successful, make sure we do what we need to do to be attractive to the other species. If we don't do that, we stuck with ourselves, right or wrong. I feel like it's the wrong. And then, it's the wrong. And then when we do that, we die 20 years before. First thing I learned in church. Going to Adam and Eve. What is that? Oh, that the people's oh, always wrong. Oh, Eve, oh, Eve, Eve is the reason why we're here now. That bitch might listen. I agree. I'm gonna slap the shit out of Eve when I see it. I agree with you to a certain extent because of the simple fact that if we talk about relationships, which is a very touchy subject, if we are talking about relationships, it should be lifting. If you are a man, you are in this relationship to make your woman happy. If you are a woman, you are in this relationship to make your man happy mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. It should not be just one type. Mm-hmm. But that's what it should not you ever, be that way. You ever, you ever been in a relationship and you told a woman no? Because otherwise, tell a woman no in a relationship. Watch how she acts. To anything. To anything. She gonna say, I'm gonna find that other dude that'll do it. I bet I know somebody that will do it. I bet I, I, I bet, bet I kill both of y'all. Then. <laughs> That ain't no woman. That is not. <laughs> I gotta bring y'all back, y'all not bitches. In so many different ways, a woman is meant to see the man. Like all the, the women that like dress a certain way for their man, they don't show their skin for their man. Black women, it's like the man go to work, the woman cook, raise the kids, all etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I feel like more so they have to be a certain way than a man. Because the man is the provider. He's not the house. Like the woman is the house. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying he said the men are put on earth to for the women to Please, women. Not, not please, but we're we're providers. Oh, provide. We, 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 we are providers. Well, yes, the, the end game, the end game is to get 50-50, right? Mm-hmm. But you think you don't start off as 50-50. Right? That's true. You no, don't. You never start off as 75-25. It's always that's true. Women know. It's the women's Most women bring more to the plate than the men. That's the part. Wait, no, no, no. Huh? He said what he said is true. Is that not true? You said what? Women bring more. If but y'all need to have a pussy, time. what else do you got? Uh, At the same time, my mother has a pussy. What else do you got? Personally, I got a What else do you got? You ain't got shit to talk about. You got some bad ass kids, I don't give a fuck about it. You got daddy issues, I don't give a fuck. What you got is pussy. Wait a minute. I'm going to get the real hook. What else do y'all got? What else do y'all got besides pussy? Wait a minute, wait a minute, though. What else do y'all have? Good ass question. If he ain't happy, can he provide like he's supposed to? Yep. If he, he gonna be if he ain't happy, no. No. if a man isn't happy, can he provide like he's supposed to? He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. Hey, hey, bring this home. Bring this home, man. Bring this home. Bring this home. I'm gonna say this. I don't say a lot, but I feel like when I say stuff. 
people it registers to them. Bring it home. Okay. Um, Bring us to heaven. I'm, but I'm going I'm to I'm speak for me because I can't speak for nobody else in the room. I ain't, ain't going to speak So when it's me, I make it known I, nev I never needed you. I want you. That's different. That's different in itself right there. If I saw something in you and I went out my way to approach you or whatever, then I never needed you because I was fine before you came. If I want you, that's different. Now, when we're talking about happiness, happiness is an emotion. It's triggered by how you make me feel or certain events. So if you, if you always, so yeah, you should have your own happiness, but it's, it's a different level when your girl gives you a certain happiness that nobody else can. So if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, me personally, as long as she's good, then I'm good. But that's just me personally. But I have my own happiness before she came. So it is what it is. So, I'm with you on that. So in other words, you gotta be happy. So you gotta so you have to you have to be good within yourself first. You gotta be good within yourself first before you go out there trying to find somebody else to whatever. And then I feel like as men, we look for the tangible things sometimes. Tangible meaning what I can touch, ass, titties, all that shit. That shit don't matter. That shit does not matter. I mean, it matters, but to an extent. That shit is gonna fade at the end of the day. That's what, at the end of the day, it's what a person has. That's why. That's why. That's why relationships don't last as long as they used to. Because people looking for the fattest ass and the cutest face. But if you don't have those intangibles. Then what are you really looking for? I'm looking for ambition. I'm looking for ambition. I'm looking for somebody to build something with. I'm looking for all that shit. A pretty ass and a nice shit. Don't mean shit to me. But at the end of the day, are you driven? Do you have goals? Do you make me happy, bitch? At the end of the life, do you make me happy? Here we go. I've been saying bitch for 20 years. I'm going to be offended now. Sassy got a question. Sassy. I do have a question. Do you think you're eating for Pope? Yes. 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 What do I bring? Yeah. Oh, for you. <laughs> no, 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 a home, a uh, love. Outside kids. Nah, it's outside kids. Yeah. Protection, all that shit. I bring that. I bring that. I bring what a man's supposed to bring. Whatever woman is looking for, whatever she needs, I bring that. Let her know. What's a woman supposed to bring? Actually, I want to touch on. I want. I want to touch on some. Something that Higgs said. Mm -hmm. Go baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, Trisha. Go baby. Mm -hmm. I wanted to touch on what Higgs was talking about because he brought up a really good point that's very serious. The reason why we argue about this shit so much because when we talk about this topic, we think about all the women who gave their all into these relationships and didn't get nothing out of it. And the key factor is they didn't have any self-love within themselves. They kept searching. They kept searching and searching and searching for the man that was going to put that happiness within them instead of focusing on developing that happiness within themselves. Because the person that's fully secure and you love yourself, that's the hardest motherfucker to run game on. Someone who's very insecure and they have this void that needs to keep getting filled from the outside, they're going to constantly go through these problems. I've seen it with my own relatives. I know people that's pushing 60, still in bullshit relationships that kicked off back when they was 20 because they never had, <laughs> I'm dead, that's it. They never had that courage to actually step out on their own and actually love themselves and make that decision of, you know what, I'm going to stop looking for my happiness and my fulfillment on the outside and take this time to work on what I need to do for myself. Go ahead, Tyler Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jay told me. <laughs> Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, say what you got to say. But, but on the, on the same token, I feel like 
people get into relationships looking for for whatever void that they have. And I I personally feel like if you're so searching for yourself, you should not get with another person if you don't even know what the fuck you're looking for. Because then when that person is gonna when that person like a caring individual like myself it's trying to figure out how. They're trying to advertise themselves. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you know, hey, you know, you know when you uplift your black men, there's always that fucking one to bring it down. Say something special, you just want me in this shit. All right. Let me record this. Hold on, fucker. All right, I say. I said, hold on. All right. Nigga, I've been drinking. Ready to go. (laughs) Anyway, so I say what I love about this podcast and what it does is it gives the opportunity for us to share our perspectives as well as open our minds and we can learn something from each other. Granted, we may argue over some goofy ass shit from time to time, but when it's all over, said and done, we can take something away from it if we're actually paying attention to each other. So I say thank you for putting me on the show so I can speak my mind on things and it gave me the opportunity to actually learn about the people who I see all the time and you see where their head is at and based off that that's the reason why it's it's a bittersweet feeling with leaving because it feels like i'm leaving a lot of family Mm -hmm. so thank you for having me here and um i'm about to get back into this patron hey yeah me too before we get emotional uh yeah um uh shout out to my shirt uh my side bitch kid is happy for us (laughs) 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 
Turn around. 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 And, and you know, we all just discussed how you can make it to Maine women. All right, now that's the end of the show. Go ahead and. Uh, hey. Hey.